Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In our previous video, we've created a dialog box that opens automatically whenever an editor enters a document. Today, we're going to edit that and we're going to add a bit of formatting. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now let's open up our workspace from last video. This is our welcome message and let me just quickly show you what we've got. When I open this document, I automatically get a dialog box and this dialog box is going to welcome me to the document or give a little bit of instructions. Now I would like to format this. I would like to make it bigger, bold, different colors, all types of different formats. There is a way to do this and that's via HTML. So instead of opening up a string, a sentence, we're going to open up an HTML document and give that to the users. That means that we can add HTML formatting. Now, if you don't know how to type HTML formatting, don't worry. We're going to open up a second tab and that's the first thing we're going to do. And we're going to go to double three schools. Now double three schools is an amazing resource to learn about HTML and CSS. The formatting we are looking for is under HTML and CSS. So we're going to click on learn HTML. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to find headings. Now what I want to do is I want to have a big bold heading. So I'm going to use this heading one. Now, the reason I'm such a fan of W3Schools is because they give you lots of examples of what it will look like. They also give you an editor to try it by yourself. Now, that's what we're going to use today. So we're going to scroll down and find something we like. Now here, I quite like these different headers. You can see we can even specify the font size. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's click on try it yourself. And this is what it looks like. Now, I don't need 60 pixels. So let's change that. Let's change it into 30 pixels. There we go. And let's run this. Now this shows me on the right hand side what that will look like. So we're going to leave that header and we're going to change this text into please edit this document, but do not yet share it. And there we go. We're going to leave the heading one as it is, but we are going to title this welcome. Now, another thing I can do is I can add more styles. So instead of just saying style equals font size, I can also add the color. So let's go ahead and add a color. So let's add a space here just before our speech marks are closed. Let's add color, colon, blue. And let's run our code. This is now not only going to apply the style of a font size 30 pixels, but it's also going to apply the color of blue. Now HTML supports over 140 different color names. So do have a look at the list that I've linked in the description below and you can change these accordingly. Now, if you're happy with this, what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this. So let's copy this HTML code and let's leave it in our clipboard for now. We're going to have to dive back into our Google Docs and we are going to open our script editor. So let's go to tools, script editor. Now we still have our script from the last video, but what we're going to do now is we're going to edit that script and we're going to create an HTML file within AppScript. So the first thing we do is click on file and then new HTML file. Now let's title this welcome HTML. Let's click OK. And you can see my HTML file has a title at the top. We are now going to delete the tags that we are already given and just simply paste the ones we've explored with in our W3 schools. This is the H1 style, font size, color, etc., etc. We're going to save this file. So let's go ahead and click on save. And that's all we have to do with our HTML. Now, if in the future you change the formatting in your HTML file, it will automatically change your dialog box. That means that you only have to do the code once and then whenever you want to change something or formatting, you dive into your HTML file. Now let's go ahead and open up our code. And this is where we're going to have to add quite a few changes. We're no longer simply calling the user interface. We're now actually asking for them to use a variable, which is going to be an HTML variable. So let's do that together. Just behind our bracket, our curly bracket, we're going to type VAR as in variable space. Title this variable HTML space. 
and then we're going to add some more code. We're going to add equals and now we're going to call a service. Now I will leave the full code in the description below, don't worry, but the service we're calling is the HTML get service and then output an HTML file. So let's type HTML service, make sure your S is a capital, full stop, and then scroll down and find the one that says create HTML output from file because we have an HTML file. You can see the word file name is highlighted. So let's go ahead and change this into the file name we have at the top. Now, if you remember, we've titled our file welcomehtml.html. Now you can see this here at the top. So let's change that welcomehtml.html. And it's now calling that file. Now behind your brackets, you are going to have to put a semicolon. So let's go ahead and put that semicolon there. Now navigating to the end of our line, we're going to get rid of the period alert and then our welcome message. Let's get rid of that and let's type full stop. Let's add a full stop or a period. And this now pops up an entire box of autocomplete. That's what we want because we're going to scroll down and what we are going to find is we are going to look for the following show model dialog. So here we have a model dialog. There we go. It says show model dialog user interface and title. The user interface will come from the HTML. If you remember, this is our variable that we called here at the beginning. And then the title that can be blank. So let's open up our speech marks, leave an empty space and close them. And that is our full code. So let's test this now. Let's go ahead and save our code and let's run the code. Now I've just spotted that when we run this code, I am going to get an error message and I'll just show you what's going to happen. I'm going to run this and you'll see there will be an error message. Now that's because the welcome HTML.html, as you can see here, I've forgotten to put it inside my speech marks. So let's go ahead and add this inside my speech marks. Okay, so now that we've added those speech marks, let's go ahead and click on save and run our code. Let's pop into our Google document and let's just see what that looks like. Here we go. We now have a big dialog box that pops up. Welcome, please edit this document, but do not yet share it. And we can close this pop up menu. So this is how you can add some amazing formatting to your dialog box. And because we've set our function, as you can see here, because we've set our function to on open, it's automatically going to open whenever your document is opened by an editor. This allows you to add different messages into your HTML file, and then that automatically shows up as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, do let me know in the comment section below, and I would love to hear how you might use this in class or with colleagues. If you enjoy little tricks like this, let me know in the comment section below, but you can learn even more by yourself if you simply navigate to the Google Applied Digital Skills website. Now the Applied Digital Skills website has hundreds of lessons available and lots of video going into detail on how you can use code or many of the other digital skills in this 21st century. Now I will read all the comments below. Now if you found this helpful, I would be really happy if you could give this video a like, share it out to your colleagues, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.